my students today we will begin with the topic rational numbers we are doing it for class 7 first let's understand what are rational numbers the number in the form p upon q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 so our rational number will be p upon q where p is your numerator q is your denominator so both are integers upon integers but remember denominator should not be equal to 0 the first example now if you take say minus 5 upon 6 remember Minus five upon six is also equal to five upon minus six. Now this is a rational number. It is also called as a negative rational number. If I take say minus one upon minus three, you know minus. And minus gives me plus. So this is plus one upon three. This is also a rational number. Now, what kind of a rational number this is? This is a positive rational number. My next example will be zero upon five. Remember now zero. is in your numerator not in the denominator so this also is a rational number but if i have say 7 upon 0 your condition was there should be no zero in the denominator so this is not a rational number so with this i'm sure you have understood what are rational numbers negative rational numbers positive rational numbers and on the whole what are rational and what are not which are not the rational numbers next i move on to exercise 2a from your textbook exercise 2a from your textbook i will work out a few sums like for example if we have find four rational numbers equivalent to say we'll do the second one say minus 5 upon 9 equivalent means equal remember this now when it is equal means i need to multiply with the same number in the numerator as well as the denominator now i am asked for four rational numbers so i have minus 5 upon 9 minus 5 upon 9 and minus 5 upon 9 i said when you want an equivalent i need to multiply and divide with the same number so what do i get here minus 10 upon 18 so same way i multiply here with 3 Let me multiply this with four, and let me multiply here with five. So what do I get? Minus fifteen upon twenty-seven. Here we'll get minus twenty upon thirty-six, and here I get minus twenty-five upon forty-five. Now, when I look at these, minus ten upon eighteen is equal to minus fifteen. Upon twenty-seven, which is equal to minus twenty upon thirty-six, and this is equal to minus twenty-five upon forty-five. When I look at these, all these fractions look different. But if I reduce each one, what do I get? Two fives are two nines are three fives are three nines are. So you understood that this gives me the equal. rational number as this number that is why we call them as equivalent fractions 
Let's go to another example, which I'll be taking from your textbook itself. Let's go to the fourth one of question six. Question six. It's the same question, but the fourth sum. It is written as nine. Now remember, nine means nine upon one. We need four equivalent fractions. So nine upon one, nine upon one, and nine upon one. Now you know how to do this. I said equivalent means you need to multiply and divide with the same number. So into two. So this will be three. This will be four, and this will be five. So I get nine two is a eighteen upon two. Nine three is a twenty seven upon three. Nine four is a thirty six upon four, and nine five is a forty five upon five. So these are your equivalent fractions. That is eighteen upon two is equal to twenty seven upon three, which is equal to Thirty-six upon four, which is equal to forty-five upon five. I hope I am clear. We'll go to the next sum. Now our next sum is I will do from exercise two a question. Nine. Okay, it says express three upon eight as a rational number with your denominator a forty-eight and b minus thirty-two. Okay, let's see how this goes. Now we have three upon eight, and they are saying your denominator should be. This is your denominator. It should be equal to forty-eight. Now you know your tables, so you know eight into what gives you forty-eight. Eight six is forty-eight. Now if I multiply my denominator with six, remember. You need to multiply your numerator also with six. So three six is eighteen. This is how I get my answer. Next, I have three upon eight is equal to. Now I have minus thirty two in my denominator. So when I multiply eight eight into what gives me thirty two? Eight four is thirty two. But remember, I have my negative sign, so plus into minus gives me minus thirty-two. So if I multiply here with minus four, don't forget I need to multiply here also with minus four. So my answer is minus twelve. I hope I'm clear with this. Let's go to the next question of exercise. Wait. Similar kind, but what the difference? Let's do question thirty. Express seventy-eight upon minus one one seven as a rational number with numerator a minus six and b. As two, so just like the previous sum, we do it seventy-eight upon minus one one seven, and this is equal to now your numerator is minus six. I need to find my denominator. But the previous question, if you see, in your left side it was small, and your right side had a bigger number. Now, if you see. I have a bigger number here, and I have a smaller number here. So when you have a smaller number here, you multiply to get the answer. So here I need to divide. For this, go to your rough column. 
let's divide 78 divided by 6 6 1s are 6 1 bring 8 down 6 3s are 18 so you know your table of 13 goes so I will put 13 here if I use 13 here I need to put 13 here let's look at the sign now plus and plus there is minus here so I need to put minus now plus and minus gives me minus I need to put minus here too and minus divided by minus gives me plus and 13 multiplied by 9 is equal to 117 so I will put here sorry 13 9 with this I am sure you have understood both the questions the previous one as well as this now let's move on to the next question I have shown you one with minus six the other one you will have to find out and do it let's go to question 14 of exercise 2a it is said write each of the following in standard form now remember when they say standard form this also means reducing it also means you are bringing it to the simplest form alright so from question 14 let me do the second sum 16 upon minus 40 you know your tables so you can directly do it 8 2's are 16 minus 8 5's are 40 clear then let me do the seventh one I have minus 69 upon 115 there is a negative in the numerator let me put negative and keep first itself now I do not know my table then how do I do it please remember whenever you do not know or you are confused with which table goes do the prime factorization but in such a way that first bring your numerator and then let's bring the denominator so I know here the table of 3 goes 3 2's are 6 3 3's are 9 23 1's I have 5 here so I know the table of 5 goes 5 2's are 10 11 5 3's are 15 23 1's are so which is common strike it out 23 23 what are you left with 3 upon 5 so my answer is minus 3 upon 5 I hope with this you have understood how to reduce find the value of x find the value of x that you have say this is question 15 I will be doing the second sum now you have 8 upon minus 3 is equal to x upon 6 now whenever you have like this where you have to find out x let's cross with arrows right and wherever there is x that number I need to divide so I get x is equal to 8 multiplied by 6 I said wherever there is x let us bring it below minus 3 upon 3 or divided by 3 you know how to reduce so it goes 3 1's are 3 2's are so 8 2's are 16 so this is how you find the value of x let's do another sum
Now, if you have say fifth sum, let me do 15 upon x is equal to minus 3. Now, it is given only 15 upon x is equal to minus 3. Minus 3, when I bring it in the form of a rational number, minus 3 upon 1. Now, as I told you, let us cross multiply. Wherever there is x that becomes a pawn. So, I have x is equal to 15 multiplied by 1 upon minus 3. So, I get 15 upon minus 3. So, 3 1s are and 3 5s are. So, my x is equal to minus 5. So, this is how I found the value of x. I will do another sum. And then with this, we wind up with the exercise. I have minus, this is my 6 sum, minus 36 upon x is equal to 2. By now you have understood, 2 means, what should I do? 2 upon 1. Let us cross with the arrows. Now wherever there is an x that means this will become as a pawn 2. So I have x is equal to minus 36 multiplied by 1 upon 2. I get it as minus 36 upon 2. That is minus 2 1s are 2, 3. 2 8s are 16. So your answer is x is equal to minus 18. With this, I wind up with the class with the first exercise of rational numbers. I hope you complete this and show it to me.